We are back from one of the LGSs in my city, Calgary, Metal Galaxy, and they did have a couple of repacks, it looks like, mystery packs, and it was $8 for five for the regular one, and then they had the foil packs for $5 each. We grabbed two foil packs, and we got the five regular ones. Let's crack into these things and see if it was worth it to buy these mystery packs at the LGS. We will save the more expensive foil repacks here for last. Why don't we go into the regular ones? Is it going to be bulk? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I don't know, it might be bulk, it might be bulk. We will see, we will see. Okay, opening up the first mystery pack here and let's see what we get on the inside. So, let's flip it around. Okay, so we're getting some Time Shuttle Remastered stuff. Uh, Orzhov Locket, Red Elemental Blast. That's kind of a cool card. Not bad. Uh, Battlewise Hoplite, Ashiox Adept, Dagger of the Worthy, Complete Disregard, Eyes in the Sky, Power Fire, Campus Guide, Eureka Moment, Mardu Banner, Swift Justice. I mean, wow, we get a Kazandu Mammoth. Not bad from a Zendikar Rising. That's interesting. That was the first repack there. Let me know what you think about the value. If you see anything that is like a dollar or more on screen, I'll, I'll probably throw that in there. I might throw the prices of some of the cards that even aren't, just if they're rare, just to give you guys an idea of the pricing uh, on this and see if it's worth it, right? So it's like eight bucks for the five packs. The foil ones are gonna be five bucks each. We're gonna go through that after. Rebel Belt Runner, Naturalize, Nat Lazatab, Trumpet Blast. Okay, Choking Fumes, Ooh, Adventurous Impulse, Lunark Veteran, Salt Eye Banner. Oh, wow, we got a Mythic. I was not expecting that at the end. General Tazri. Not the best Mythic from both the Gatewatch, but uh, we will take that one. We will take that one. And moving on to the next mystery pack here. Hmm. That was kind of, that kind of took me off guard. I was not expecting a Mythic. I mean, it might be a bulk Mythic. I think it is. I'm going to have to research the prices after when I'm editing this video. Uh, let's flip these around. Water of Dusk, okay. Titanic Growth. Bleeding Edge, Noble Quarry. Invasive Species, Thrabin Exorcism, Crosstown Courier, Giant Skewer, Sun Crested Paradon, and we got Aeronaut, Tinkerer, and we got a Psychic Intrusion. Not the best rare here, not the best rare. So that one was a bit of a dud, that pack. Let's move on, but I guess they can't all be. You know what, next time I do this, maybe I'll just go and buy every single one at the store and then see if there was like a single card there that was actually like a few bucks, we'll see. Maybe if you guys are interested in that, uh, comment down below and it will make it happen. Adventurous Impulse there. Okay, we have Vanquish the Foul, Become Immense, great uncommon, I love that card. Using my Infect deck, Lightning Axe, that's actually another decent uncommon. Two-headed Cerebus, Naturalize, Rona Stalwart, Gift of Strength, and then we get a Seraph of the Sword. Flying prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to Seraph of the Sword. That's actually an okay rare, but I don't know if it's worth over a dollar. I just, I don't think it is. My my gut is telling me not over a dollar. Let's see what we get in the next pack though. Okay, yeah, flip these around. Teamer Banner, Council's Lieutenant, okay, Miner's Bane, Warwing Siren, Grim, Territorial, Naturalized, Juggernauts, Raging Swordtooth, Rumbling Rock Slide, Wilt, and then we get Barbed Battle Gear, and Ignite the Beacon. Ooh, not a good rare. We do have our foil packs to go for right now, and these are $5 each, so on the pricier side, for sure, on the pricier side, let's see if it was worth it. Five bucks! You know, uh, foils are very easy to get now because of collector packs. Okay, Geist Light Snare. Lay Down Arms, so these are like promos, I believe. Shield Mage Passage. Arcane Flights, ooh. Okay, so we got a Galaxy Foil here. Approach from the, from of the pro, form of the approach of the second sun. Jeez, say that five times fast. And then we get, uh, ooh, okay. Not bad. So this is a rare, ooh, the Japanese archive cards, they always escape me when I look at them. Mm. Let me know what this one is down below in the comment section. Scale the Heights, uh, Voyage's End, Famished Foragers, Accomplished Automaton, Clear Shot and Reckless Impulse with a Core Skyfisher. Okay, that was an interesting pack. Five bucks? I don't know. Was it worth it for five bucks? I don't know. You let me know down below in the comments section. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Wasteful Harvest, Dungeon Crawler, Micromancer, Mass Production, Nested Shambler, Snare Supplies, Iron Verdict, Lacerate Flesh, and then we do have an Un... This is uh, the Unstable Foil. I was going to say Unhinged. That is not Unhinged. Rules, Lawyer, and then we do have a... Serpentine Ambush, Stalwart Aven, Ajudi Summons. Then we get another rare here. 
Haughty Jin, and then an Ember Eye Wolf. That is it. So, I don't know. Let me know. Did I waste my money on those? But either way, it's uh, just a little bit of an experiment here. See if it's worth it to buy mystery packs at any game store. Most of the time, it's just bulk and they're just trying to offload it. And then other times, there might actually be something good. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this video down below in the comment section. Was it worth it or not? And I'll see you in the next one. Canada's largest match with gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MattCaster at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount.